for joining. Thanks. <laughs> You don't mind me saying so, you do look a bit troubled. Are you okay? <laughs> I, to be honest, I was just over there at the bar and I noticed you and just thought I'd check on you. It's like no one else is paying attention, so I, I just, I wasn't sure if maybe you felt ignored. But you can tell me. I know, I know we don't know each other. But that might make it easier. You never have to see me again, you can just offload whatever's bothering you. Of course, of course, that's okay. Really? Ah. Right. It's me giving you advice. Yeah, okay. Um, I think it's probably just for the best if you try to accept that it's happened and uh, I don't want to just say get over it, but in a sense, look, whenever I go through anything, I look for somebody to speak about it with, you know, even if it's not much of a conversation or more of a rant. And then I just try to accept and move on. Except that it shouldn't keep affecting me, at least long into the future, and try to focus on what's ahead of me instead of what's just happened. I mean, I know it's hard in some circumstances, but... It's what I've always tried to do, and it does work. was a relationship. Right. <laughs> See, that's not horrible. It's not so long that your whole life's been turned upside down. You liked him. Well, <laughs> you would have liked him him in the first place, you would have liked him. But it's not going to be hard for you to find someone else. Someone who will treat you the way you deserve to be treated. It really won't be difficult. Really? I mean, if you accept that you're open to, to anything, you know, not just your type, but if someone comes up to you, asks you out, there's nothing immediately, like, hideously repulsive about them. <laughs> and, you 
you know, they're not giving you any weird, creepy signals or something, then give it a shot. You don't have anything to lose. And you never know, someone you might have avoided, you know, a specific type of person, maybe. They might turn out to be an amazing fit. Without you ever knowing. But really, you're not going to struggle. You're attractive. You're calm. You're sensitive. People like those qualities. Really? Yeah. I should know because I'm the same. <laughs> you do seem really, really nice. Would you be open to just getting to know each other a bit? I don't particularly want to just get up and leave. Leave you on your own. And well, leave you to it, to be honest. You still look a bit down. No, no, I want to stay. I, I do. You are a really, really nice person. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm basing that on the fact that you haven't thrown your drink in my face. That has happened at a bar before. <laughs> yeah, really. I, I, I saw this person and thought they were attractive. To be fair, I was about three, maybe four drinks in, so I didn't have as many inhibitions as I should have had. And I went over, and I slurred something along the lines of, uh, you know, would you, would, you, would you be interested in having my number or something like that? And two seconds later, I don't even remember it happening, just... It was like a hard cut, and suddenly I was covered in beer, so. <laughs> no, it's okay, you can laugh. To be fair, I don't think many people have had the finest moments in bars. Is it that, like, specifically is troubling you? I, I know it's relationship stuff, but are you bummed out that it ended? Do you not want to move on? Both, okay. be worth it just to try and pick up a guy. Yeah, really. It, it's not like it was a marriage or anything. It wasn't a really, really long relationship. And anyway, it's nothing to feel guilty about. Or broken up. It's not like you're just taking some time apart or something. There's nothing wrong with seeing other people.
it's up to you to decide if it's too soon or not. If you feel like if you did meet someone and you did go home with them and you did sleep together if you think that would just hurt you more than anything else then you know you're not ready and it's way too soon. But if you really think that you could wake up in the morning in his arms and you could kiss him and feel happy and safe, then go for it. Yeah, really, go for it. Like I said, you don't have anything to lose. Worst case scenario, you get rejected. Which won't feel great now, but it's nothing personal. Yeah. You're gonna try, okay. Who do you think you're gonna go for? I did see a table of cute guys close to the door, but I understand if a table of people might be a bit unappealing. Why are you blushing? <laughs> you know. There's nothing to be nervous about. Honestly, just ask. You're not, you're not practicing on me, are you? You're actually asking me. Really? No, 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 don't, don't look embarrassed. No, I'm, I'm beyond flattered. I just didn't expect that <laughs> of everybody you choose me. somewhere, or you take me out, or whatever, I, I, like I said, you're, you're great, you're really nice, and on top of being attractive, you are very, very cute when you get embarrassed. This might be the fact that I've had a few drinks already, but would it be entirely inappropriate if I kiss you? as well.
just feel a bit weird sitting at a table making out with you in like the middle of a pub <laughs> I mean the last side to it is people do get to see that I'm with you but it does feel like every single person is staring at me Trying to embarrass me on. 